Hi, I hope you're doing really well. Uh, my name is Shay. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can do your base makeup using only concealer. So I was gonna start with moisturizer. I'm starting with the Embryolis Light Cream Concentrate. So I'm taking the Light Cream Concentrate and I'm taking like that much amount. Can you see how much amount? This much amount. And then um, I'm just going in with it. So I was like sleeping earlier, so uh, if you see any lines on this side of my face, just know that it's because I was sleeping. Um, yeah, and then you just blend it in. Blend it in. Just spread it all over your face like you would a moisturizer. Um, and then I'm going in with the Requil OMC Free Sunscreen. This one, um, I have a code with them by the way if you want to buy it. Uh, but this one is one of the best sunscreens I've ever used, at least from India. I use a very small amount compared to like what you're supposed to be using or like what people say you're supposed to be using um so yeah i mean i know i do that so don't come at me for doing that um and then just put it all over your face uh this sunscreen is also like hyper dewy so it helps to use it under your makeup um for like a dewy base you know if i have extra sunscreen i just put it everywhere on my body wherever i need that sun protection which is like your neck your chest um i don't think it's very attractive to be speaking while i'm doing this it's color corrector i've recently been uh, trying this new color corrector it's from becca uh becca cosmetics color corrector oh i thought i was using light to medium turns out i'm using medium to deep uh so it looks like this i just take a little bit on my ring finger and then i just go under my eyelid eyelid i meant my under eye and then I just tap it in. So this color corrector essentially just has a little bit of highlighting effect to it, um, which acts as like a highlighter. <laughs> it um, highlights light away from your face, so it makes it uh, look like you don't have as much, you know, dark circles and darkness because it's reflecting the light back. Next, you move on to concealer. Uh, today I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger Medium 2. Um, it's literally finished, like there's nothing left, but I still refuse to give it up. Um, so yeah, I just put like a nice amount of that on. Um, wherever you need the coverage, I mostly just tend to stick in my under eye, stick to my under eye area because I don't really need coverage anywhere else and I don't like to put excess product where i don't need it sometimes i do this extra layer of um, concealer especially when i'm like filming to show how i use concealer but usually this much concealer is not needed but this brush it's the it cosmetics complexion perfection brush um i'm showing it to you all sideways but yeah it's the <laughs> complexion perfection brush uh so i'm taking the fluffy end and blending in the was funny the chin area first and then i start at the bottom of this region again with like the big brush and then i blend the part where i put it on my nose um and then i blend the bottom of this as well um so you can already see that that just helps to blend everything together for the actual like nearest part of the under eye, I blend as much as possible with the fluffy end and then I take this uh, tippy tiny side of the brush and then I start to blend it in like this um, and usually just that helps to you know brighten the under eye uh, because you're doing it in like a strategic manner and in that shape, can you see that shape? Um, so yeah, usually just that will help to frame your face a bit better. And then after that, you can just take the bigger side and then just tap it onto the blending that you did just now so that there's no harsh lines. You can also take it over your eyelid if you want. And yeah, I'm going to use Clinique Chubby Stick. This is the contour stick. I'm starting like a little bit above the hollow of the cheek because we all have a tendency to blend it downward and blending downward is not a good idea with 
contouring so it's just better to do it a little bit above so that when you blend it it looks it sits in the right place um then you take this big old fluffy brush it's from zoeva and uh, i have like a bunch of brush recommendations for um you know india because i do use brushes from india the real techniques ones are really good uh, i found a couple that i really like you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna link that post from instagram in the description bar <laughs> because i'm a youtuber now <laughs> yeah and when you're blending contour in try to blend it in an upward direction towards your forehead like that and to the side like that and again you just do the same thing blend it upwards this is the concealer plus bronzer combination as you can see it's like a little bit more restricted to this region that's what we like um if i had setting powder which actually i kind of do i'm gonna use like an eyeshadow um to set my under eye because i don't have like a proper setting setting powder this naked palette this shade the shade is called strange i'm gonna use that sh shade on this real techniques brush it's a deluxe crease brush but i just use it for concealer because it's really good and efficient and uh, we're just gonna tap tap any tap you know <laughs> make sure you're doing it in like a restricted area alone don't just go and put powder all over your face because then you're not going to look like a dewy goddess you're gonna look like a matte goddess unless you want to look like a matte goddess then go for it and a little bit under the eye especially this region uh, because that creases the most easily at least for me and then um, the side of the nose which is here and then do you see this coming together I don't know if you see it but I see it and I'm just so happy very happy and then the sideline it's not side lines it's called smile lines i just don't know all this like lingo properly uh but i do know how to do makeup <laughs> set the contour which means you use a powder contour on top of your cream contour this is the dior backstage contour palette and i'm going in circular motions with the same brush over the exact same area where we previously did the bronzing um, yeah, I tuck my hair in when I blend my contour. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> it's a really weird habit, but I just like to do that. I don't know why. Um, and then I take it down the neck because as you can see, it's like a little bit of a mismatch. Um, then the same thing here as well. If you want to like really intensify your contour is to take like a really ashy-ish brown shade. Um, and take it only on one side of your brush this is the Kiko Milano eyeshadow in ombretto and then just place it like that just no blending very little blending and then uh, that just intensifies your contour like by a lot and uh, yeah do the same thing on the other side and then you have like chiseled cheekbones I'm using the Aram Beauty Dew Stick in Golden Hour I'm just tapping it on exactly precisely where I need it which is this area and then tip of the nose cheekbone, cupid's bow I'm sure you've seen enough YouTubers to know the high points of your face <laughs> and then just blend it in Take it on your brow bone if you want. Um, blend this also in blush. Uh, and then I start like kind of basically where I put my highlighter. Uh, just from the outside and then bring it in. I usually don't like to apply it directly on the cheeks of the, I mean apples of the cheeks. It just looks very, I don't know, artificial to me. This is way more youthful. This is the base makeup. Uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and film it for Instagram and then come back and show you the final look. So, yes. This is the final look. It took ages and it went in a very different direction than what I thought it would go. But yeah, as you can see, the black portion is glossy and then the other is not. Um, I think it came out nicely overall. The base makeup is obviously the same so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and comment so that i know i should make more of these kinds of videos where i'm sitting down and talking at the camera 
um yeah i'm thinking of posting on thursdays at 2 p.m so make sure you're around that time on youtube um i'll see you soon um yeah <laughs> bye